Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. It was so peaceful sitting in my room quietly, getting on with my editing when <laughs> look what, what happens. Michael, oh, you're not alone anymore. You're constantly followed by a cameraman. This is beautiful. I think I'm following him around, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin's in charge. <laughs> wow, this is this is a lot of kit in my room first thing in the morning. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's too high. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My laugh is the biggest problem to edit in any video. I have to turn the levels okay. down. It was high. It's just a laugh. It's just, it's just a little bit higher yeah. than human hearing can cope with <laughs> at all times. What are you working on, Dan? Um, we're just planting some stuff for late autumn, really, just to get some stuff in the bed. So I've got radishes here. We've got chicory, which I've just planted over there. Oh, nice. And Swiss chard. And I think we're going to try for some beetroots although maybe they won't be sort of big enough but we've got the seeds there that need using so we think well may as well stick it stick them in the ground and if they grow they grow so we're going to have a chicory and chard filled winter yes <laughs> yum <laughs> yeah well, loads of stuff growing actually from cuttings and seeds these are chrysanthemums oh how nice obviously they have here that day of the day or something don't they where they use them a lot oh you mean the first of november yeah all that's souls a, day yes that's the one yeah okay so we'll have well i'm not sure we'll this will be big enough by then that's yeah what? they should be yeah Ooh, it's about great. that time evening primrose these are all the roses some which isabel started are these the ones from Baminier that we brought back as, most um... of them yeah <gasps> um there's a few extra but yeah all these are that are flowering now oh wow oh that is so gorgeous which they've done really well anything happening in the greenhouse not much really um just tomatoes 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 <laughs> same old same yeah. old um a few little things we started rocket basil parsley oh that's actually really interesting so we'll have rocket here these are actually basil. just all the basil plants that the kitchen keep buying so we just plant them after nice. they've done so pansies yep they've just been started and parsley I love parsley. I could eat just parsley sandwiches. Well, I love rocket. Rocket's my favourite. Ah, so, I love okay. That. Both yeah. our favourites are on the go. Yes, Excellent. Exactly. I've got my job list now because she's been sorting out all the seeds into months. Oh, oh. And I think, I think she's decided I start in February. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got every so month after that. These are the first ones to go in. Yeah. I don't even know what this is. Historical greens land cabbage does that mean i'm not too sure my um dutch isn't great no something edible anyway. it's rich in vitamin c yeah. whatever it is <laughs> and violets nice strawberries because what we need dan I know. is more <laughs> is strawberries more, yeah we haven't we haven't got quite enough but we thought about maybe rotivating a small strip um and raking it over and then planting like some wild flowers Oh, how nice, yes. Along there, so... And the poppies will naturally spread themselves back and back and back, so... Oh, I just love poppies. Yeah, but there's all different. There's, I think we've got about eight different types of poppies. Greys. <gasps> Hungarian. Mm. Oh. Oh, and lots of cosmos, cosmos which is also yeah. spectacular. Daisies. Poppies again. So many different types. It's going to be spectacular. Yes, I think maybe that's the way to go with them. We've got the dream team out in the garden because Davy is here from Belgium and he's a garden architect. Yes. So this is super exciting. We're picking his brains whilst he's here. And uh, yeah, you and Dan have got a lot to a lot to plan together. 
that plan and try to explain how everything needs to be managed okay. across the year. So yeah. uh, there's a lot to see. That's true. So you, you two have been chatting a lot about We this. have, yeah. yeah. We've been sort of walking around and seeing what needs done and, yeah. you know, just what's what as well, because there's some plants I don't necessarily know and the best way to make them thrive as well. So. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, bring me up to speed because I missed your preliminary chat. Well, yesterday we went around the, the vegetable garden with Isabel uh, and she asked if, there, if I had any suggestions. And I said that there, there was a lot of effort put into making everything symmetrical. Yes. But the central point where everything was made symmetrical to yes. is not actually in the middle of the space. No, it's not. That's so true. You'd need something to uh, plant uh, uh, like three meters from the wall so that the entire space is symmetrical from the center point of view ah, as everything else. So we bring this yeah. side in a yeah. little bit. So we discussed that and we found two possible solutions. Yes. You could plant uh, a row of fruit trees as you have on the other side, um, trellis uh, pr fruit trees that can be uh, that don't give too much shade because otherwise the, the, the climbing vines wouldn't be able yes. to grow anymore. And then you create a sort of walkway yeah, all the way along. in between them, which is a really historic thing because a lot of uh, castle gardens in the 16th and century, uh, 17th centuries had walkways yes. because women weren't allowed to, 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 to have a suntan. They, they had to be white. Yes. Uh, so they had to walk somewhere where it's covered. Oh, that's perfect for yeah. me. I'm factor 50 every day. <laughs> Uh, but another one, and I'm afraid a bit more expensive, would be you had an idea to uh, place a, a pergola next yes. to where the chicken coop is now. Yes. The, the idea would be to extend that roof area along the entire length of the wall up to the chicken coop where it's going to be. That way you would have a complete walkway as it would have been uh, with a castle of this age. Uh, in the vegetable garden, so you, you, could, you, you wouldn't even need to plant any of the, the climbers because the climbing vines are already there. And they'll come they, straight across. They'll just have to grow over the, the roof oh, area. Oh, I really like that idea. What did I say to you? <laughs> yes, that's what exactly I thought she would go for. Yes, yes. More work for you, Dan, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you and Selma being the pergola dream team. Yeah, well, what I was saying yesterday actually is maybe a slightly cheaper way of doing it is there's loads of box steel in one of the barns really long lengths is that yes it's a mystery what <laughs> stuff, there is all, all sorts of stuff you don't know about um but i can weld of course you can so we could have like an l shape you know an upright and then going back to the wall upright going back to the wall yes which would be relatively cheap if we've got the steel that would, would be a perfect solution you yeah. think so that would yeah, work absolutely. that would that would still yeah. fit in with the aesthetic that that we would need well generally it isn't really the historically correct material uh, because welding didn't exist in that at that time because there, there wasn't any electricity um so historically correct would be uh, wood, wood or brick pillars with wood yes. on top uh, but we're in the modern age, so you can always reinvent everything. So, and also, if uh, they'd had electricity, oh, they'd have loved welding, they'd have wouldn't it? they? They'd have loved it. Yeah, <laughs> it would have. Uh, it would have made all the towers much stronger. Yes. Is this a decision, Dan? Is this it? Well, you're the decision maker. I'm just. A, I just do what I'm told. You know? Okay, let me ask the actual decision maker. Yes. <laughs> and that was a yes from the top. Okay. <laughs> it solves. It solves um, the problem of. Um, of the symmetry. Balance. The symmetry. Yes, the symmetry. Yeah. Symmetry. I cannot get into my head. Well, whilst it. we're talking about symmetry, Davy, what do you think about Mummy's um, eyesore? That's the name of that huge bush there that she wants us to keep. The big box plant. <laughs> <Yeah. careful. laughs> <laughs> well, personally, I, I think it would be a shame to remove a plant of that age because it has to be at least 60 or 70 years old to be that size. Um, so it would, I, I think it would be relatively difficult to, pl uh, to replant it somewhere else mm. because it's going to have an, a really big root ball. Um, so for that specific specimen, I would say ignore the symmetry. It's yeah. just going to have to become a topiary peacock. <laughs> you could try and shape it in a, in a, in a yeah. more beautiful, sh beautiful shape. That's true. How's your sculpting, Dan? Yeah, peacock is a bit beyond me, I think. <laughs> Ball or square, I think are our <laughs> options. Yeah. How about cone? Well, it wants a cone shape, don't yeah. it? Yeah. It's asking yeah. for a cone. Do yeah. you think you could uh, do a cone? Bearing in mind that it can't look worse than it does now. <laughs> so you're off to a good start. Yeah. I 
but we can try. I have done in the past, not with a bush that, that size, no. um, but it's not really the right time in the year to do it now, uh, unfortunately. You'd say anything to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's really something better done in, in the spring, because then immediately after you have the new growth, so that you can prune it again a month or two later and have a, a more yeah, beautiful see. shape. Davy was saying that to bring the cemetery to the garden, Davy thought that we could, just over where Dan is now, yeah. bring the pergola all the way along that wall and then have the current vines that are there, they'll just carry on growing over oh, it. Oh yeah, that's nice. They're already and then, planted. And then uh, and, and some point uh, for, for a nice table. And yeah, we can have chairs, tables, lovely shaded spot to sit in the garden. So pergola project got a bit bigger this morning. Yeah, that's not a problem. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> Because I can now uh, make the chainsaw, I can collect uh, wood for the for the poles. Yes. Oh, also, Dan said that we can use some steel as well because he welds, and apparently we've got loads of steel lying around, not being used. So we could make something with the two if you and Dan get your heads together and decide how to use. Maybe the steel bits could do the uh, cross bits, and I then the... I don't need steel for uh, pergola. You don't need it at all. You don't think? Just as we've got it. No? Speak to Dan. I'm going to let well, the men solve this one. Yeah, no need uh, <laughs> metal for a uh, no? well, yeah. wood. Selmar thinks he can sort out the pergola without steel. All right, okay. He thinks that he'll be able to find the wood for this, even though it's oh, massive. Yeah. Oh, there's some yeah, creeps just sure. behind your head. <laughs> Do you see those? They look fat oh, yeah, and nice. juicy. Yeah, Littered with hornets all along here, so yeah. just be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. I'm going to grab one. Yeah, Hornet-free one. Are they, um, are they for eating mm. or are they wine? Um, <laughs> it's nice. Oh, they're looking really good. Mmm. So imagine when the pergola's up, we'll have these just coming yeah, down nice. through the branches. But can somebody take them out to make some juice? Mm, you can try. I can. I can. <laughs> well, no, that's how I feel about it too. <laughs> But maybe some of the girls, who knows? Maybe. Likes, we haven't likes. got that many, have we? But yeah, I'm sure it's possible to make. We have a juicer. Because there we have the white. And here we have the... Yeah, we can make some nice juice. Yeah. I'm struggling here. I've dropped one. Can you, um, can you retrieve it? Oh, you're me? struggling on the way to, under the weight of your own gifts that have been delivered here for yeah, you. It's ridiculous, isn't it? There you go. Very kind of people. <laughs> you can't carry them. They're too heavy. Oh. It's a workout for him. Oh, oh for goodness sake. Oh. Don't peek. Very nice. Put everything on my car. Seriously. Oh, Toilet. Wow. Hi. Oh. Yay. No, <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Rewind, rewind. Sorry. That's much better. Sorry. <laughs> We just filmed a really fun caddo at the chateau with Michael Petherick opening all the presents that had been building up here for him. If you want to see him opening them, I will put a link to it here. It's on our new charity channel, Chateau Unwrapped. All of the profits from the ad revenue from that channel will be going to charity. But now I have to run upstairs because I have to edit a video before tonight's party. Oh, wow. It's Natty. Downstairs. Everybody's dressing up. We're Natty, for you. that is the best outfit that I've ever seen in this chateau. <laughs> Where did you get those clothes? Okay, I remember the top, the top yeah, you the bought top? from Reinhardt. Exactly. Love it. This and these and these were all in the cover. I the love costumes. our costume cupboard. Yeah, we were all together there. I can't believe those glasses were in the costume cupboard. <laughs> yeah. You look I don't amazing. Know. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I've got to upload yes. this and then as soon as I get back I'll be dressing up. Good. See I you love later. it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Do you want me to get you some onions from the greenhouse? Onions? What for? Well, you know, you've got the whole like beret thing and stripy top. Oh no 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 no. Oh? I am uh, Monsieur uh, Monsieur Pinceau. Uh, <gasps> I'm the uh, professeur de Beaux Arts. Oh of course you are. The art teacher. <laughs> what do you what are you gonna paint tonight? I am uh, painting a uh, uh, mischievous picture. Oh, I can't wait to see it. How exciting. <laughs> is, uh, is the French accent good? Yeah, I love it. It's uh, one to rival uh, Madame Mystery. It's impossible to it's rival Madame Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is 
Um, an artist palette. I can't find one anywhere. You know, this is so good because I don't really need to go to the party. The party keeps coming to me. Oh, yeah. Sexy librarian? Oh, just the librarians often wear their mortarboards. It looks as though you're a sexy um, graduate. Uh, she's a naughty librarian. Yeah, yeah. That's a student's tie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. And Spoiled you were. <laughs> oh, could you do the intro to fame for me, please? No. Fame! Want I want to live forever. <laughs> I want to learn how to fly. <laughs> Are you ready? Absolutely not ready, no. no. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. <laughs> you two look amazing. Oh, you're getting into character. Absolutely. Okay, I will be joining the party as soon as I can. Party like mad without me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Careful, I did diesel. I did slide in the socks. I have finally finished today's vlog. It took me ages, but it was one that was really important to me because it was the holiday that we had in Avignon. I just loved that holiday and I wanted to do it justice. But now, whilst the video is rendering, which usually takes about 20, 25 minutes, I'm going to run around and see if I can find my costume before going out to upload. I think I have it. Gold leather, vintage Versace. Don't think it's possible to get much more ridiculous than this. I am ready. My video is rendered. I'm jumping into the car to upload it. The gold leather is on with an Alice band. Now, where is everyone? <laughs> that is a magnificent outfit, Benjamin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I don't believe that that was in our costume cabinet. It wasn't. Uh, you he... brought that with you. He's um, the head teacher, Mr. Birchill. I like it very it much. Birch. <laughs> and Davy, you must think you walked into a madhouse. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. I recognise that shirt. I wore something I should have, I could have worn when I was in high school. Yeah, it's perfect. I love it. I've uploaded the vlog in my party dress, popped into the premiere, explained to everyone that I had to drive back to join the party, and then I'll try and get back into the premiere once I'm back, but they're all waiting for me. Oh, well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I'm mixing it, I'm mixing it. I'm mixing it. Don't Mighty steed. Oh, this is really sad. It is. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. Yeah, I think so. I think think Michael's cooking up some plans. Oh, he's always got a plan up his sleeve, as Michael Patrick. Oh, I've got a ghost there. Look at you taking all your your gifts. Yeah, some lovely things. All your beautiful goodies. 
drop onto the floor. Oh, there we go. It takes Is three men to pack, pack one oh, boot. Yeah? That's it, okay, good. You brought quite a lot of stuff, actually, for a couple of days. I thought we were bad when we went on holiday to Avignon, but the men are just as bad. Well, yeah, what can right? we say? We come well prepared. Well, you brought a three-piece suit, so, yeah, I was impressed. Oh. <laughs> it turns out we travel really light handed I know, I'm feeling pretty, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah we did well. I oh, know. Right. Yeah. A lot of gentlemanly faffing. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to film it? Could I flip the camera? Looks like a lot of hard work. I really would offer to help. I just don't want to. Hi, Steph. Thanks for your hospitality. It's time we left. No, I'm sulking. Peace. I'm sulking. Always in my face. Never get a moment's peace. You can never be alone with me. No, I can't, no. Yeah. Something very exciting has happened because Debbie in Australia has been helping us to get samples from Scalamandre and Venison, who are the two companies who make wallpapers in this print. The Scalamandre has arrived, the Venison one hasn't yet. I think the scale is a bit smaller. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes. Slightly yeah. smaller peacocks, yeah. So it's, it's a half-sized peacock. Hmm. I quite like it's it, so it beautiful. looks... beautiful. Yeah. I like the big scale because I think it goes with this huge room and it's a bit grander for a chateau. Mm. I don't know if the venison would be a bigger scale. So for those of you who didn't see the vlog where Selma removed the cupboard that was there, you won't realise what the problem is, which is that there is no wallpaper behind that curtain. And Thomas saved the day for the summer by putting oh, that up. See. There's absolutely no wallpaper behind it. Therefore, we do need to redecorate mm -hmm. and whilst doing so, we should fix the wallpaper that's here. We're very, very lucky that it's yeah. still in production and we can put exactly the same print in, but we can't keep the walls like this. The wallpaper that you are standing right in front of right now, Hanny, is showing that we can't really keep that paper, can we? Look, it's so stained no. now. Well, I mean, also, you know, so the lace stained. Curtain. Now, Hanny looks as though she's making calculations. I'm striking You should take care of this mm -hmm. as well, right? Yes. But yeah, the colour difference definitely really. makes it work. Yeah. In mm -hmm. fact, it's incredibly pretty. It looks really nice. Oh. And what about the size of the peacocks here? Is it still, 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 yeah, they're still yeah. bigger. So I need to find out the what scale the of the venison. Why but do you prefer the bigger peacocks? Yeah. I think I prefer a bigger peacock <laughs> in this <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah. The problem is <laughs> the venison wallpaper is substantially more expensive than the scalamandre. And they're yeah. both eye-wateringly expensive. Yeah. Oh, there goes the eye watering. <laughs> By all eye watering, she means sobbing, full on sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> um, to you earlier, sweating at the thought of those breaths, <laughs> sweating at the thought of those zeros. Yeah. But I think it's important to use the same fabric, but, uh, the same wallpaper. The same wallpaper. Yeah, we're keeping yeah. the history of the chateau going. I know. Yeah. yeah, even the room name is from the wallpaper. Yeah. Do you have any? Um, context for when it might have been put in this wallpaper i'm guessing probably around the 50s ish Ooh. it would have been quite a while ago really. yeah and that. and that does put into context the price you might be paying for it a little bit could mm. be here for another 60 70 years well if i live that long i can assure you it's not being wallpapered again <laughs> in my lifetime <laughs> okay i think yes we're doing it. We're doing this. Doing it. We're doing it. doing it. But we need to look at the venison before making our final choice between the two. They didn't have the venison one, so they sent instead a different venison wallpaper, just so that I could at least see the quality of venison wallpaper. And it's a much wider, it's one meter thirty-seven, which would make it a lot easier to wallpaper actually. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like to wallpaper? Of course, half of wallpaper. Yeah. It's a wonderful quality too, but mind you, they, they both are. That feels lovely as well. So I think what I need to do now before making a decision is to find out what's the scale mm. of the venison peacock. Yeah. I think that we can get away with this one if the other one is not a bigger print. I think it is all right. It's 
still delicate and pretty. It's so much whiter, it's going to be mm -hmm. so <laughs> bright in here. What a difference. Yeah. And I think what we'll do is put in a half panelling. I was just it. thinking yeah. something along those yeah. lines. You need, yeah. And then we'll put on a picture rail oh, so that we have oh, a white very nice. picture yeah. rail. Yeah. And then we just frame this central section beautifully with the print. Mm -hmm. It'll be much prettier than just totally. too much on the walls at the moment. And then actually, the fact that it's a smaller print will be more balanced because mm. it will be yeah. a smaller area showing. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. And have you noticed that? Quite textured, the fabric. It is. It feels. Feel, yeah. oh, it's really it's very, very nice fabric. And with a very nice paper. How many of the BNB guests do you think stroke the wallpaper? I just stroke. Roughly. Personally, I stroke the wallpaper wherever I go. So just putting that out there. Yeah. You, your wallpaper stroke. We did do that in Avignon. We did, didn't we? We totally, <laughs> we totally were like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. this has a similar. There you go, Kat. Oh. You didn't realise. No, that. I don't. have a stroke wallpaper. Absolutely not. <laughs> now we're going to be a wallpaper stroker as well. <laughs> so Scala Mandelier talk about this wallpaper, their version of this wallpaper, and they say it's reproduced from a 19th century French roller printed textile. So this is the American version of exactly what we have here. The design's exotic motifs of fruit foliage and peacocks are rendered with delicate batik-like details for a South Seas look. Oh, I've never South, 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 South Seas. Look. I've never walked in here and gone, oh, South Seas. Yes. I'm thinking of the South Seas. You will when you will yeah. now. <laughs> when we finish with this room, you'll be yeah. like, I think I have my bikini. <laughs> Debbie has Debbie's an interior designer. In Australia, and she sent fabrics that she thinks would complement the paper. So, if you imagine this paper, firstly, there's the actual, exactly the same mm -hmm. one, or we could go for things that are slightly different for the curtains, depending on how we feel. Mm. Oh, it's so exciting looking at swatches of fabrics. I quite like this. Yes, me too. I like yes. it. You like yeah. that one? It's very white. I still oh, rather lovely. like this one. I yes. imagine huge curtains in that, and then a big border on the curtains in this, which is the reverse one. Oh, oh yeah, exactly the same. Oh yeah. But the peacocks are white. Wow. That oh, could be I really, really fun, like that. couldn't Ooh, it? Cool. And big swags and tails made of that as well. You love a swag and tail. Oh, you you, you keep me? saying it, and I've no idea what you're swag talking about. <laughs> can you tell me what a swag, swag and a tail is? I need the ones in here. Oh, okay. So they're the ones I've already made for this room. And this so the, the zigzaggy bit. Yes, yeah, those bits. That's the swags. Yeah. This is the tail. Oh. The zigzaggy bit, as you the call it. The zigzaggy bit. <laughs> Sorry. I yeah. think what I'd like to do next door, and I use exactly the same fabric as the wallpaper. Mm to make the swags and the tails and then just lined it in the same as the curtain. So that'll be a way of doing it next door. Yeah, cool. I really like that. Thanks for explaining that. I can still smell Michael's perfume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is a very fine smelling young man. He is. He's, I mean, to be fair, it's not like he's been gone days. He's been gone about two hours so far. <laughs> so, don't know yeah. why it's so strong. Does he bathe in it? Well, actually, one of the ones I know that he was wearing when he was here is called the Shadow. Oh, hang on, the, the Shadow of a Nomad. I think <laughs> and it's Louis Vuitton perfume. So it's like we're we're smelling Michael's shadow. Yeah, the shadow of a <laughs> nomad. <laughs> so funny. The shadow of the petrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible. Especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande. Yadel and Ether, Alice, Alan, Anna, Brandon and John, Michael, Daniela, Dan, Banda, Lauren, Barnes, Vince Barone, Denise Behrens, Linda C. Bradley, Veronica Castillo, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax. Tracy Ferrari, Elle Fine, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Abigail Grant, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Helen Jacobs, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Lalande, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Frank Martin, Kim Matlock, Meredith, Nina Messick, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Jenny Stevenson, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Greg Wood, David Young, and Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.